Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to the 6 p.m. video. My name is Glenn, Senior Stock Market Strategist for VectorVest, and man, we've got a banger video for you today. If you're brand new to the channel, I invite you right now to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you'll be alerted when videos like this come out. And if you like the data, you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button. As you know, NVIDIA just finished up its conference. The keynote speaker came through the CEO and man, did he blow the doors off the stadium. He talked about a new chip, new CPUs or GPUs, talked about new partnerships, the Omniverse, so many different things. Folks, we're going to cover everything in a short amount of time so that you know just why NVIDIA is still a powerhouse stock. So let's get right into my slides. So they've got a new Blackwell chip that comes out and interesting uh, stuff about it. Uh, 208 billion transistors. I don't know how they fit it onto a chip. Uh, it's going down the path of generative AI. Uh, it's the NVLink. It's got 50, it can do over 50 billion transactions. It's got 10 terabytes of data per second. That's just sickly crazy on how much data these chips have um, to be able to do this kind of stuff. And you know, NVIDIA is all about primarily uh, GPUs. They've been the leader in this group, especially for gaming and Man, just look at where they've been and where they've come to right now. A lot of this, the NVIDIA partners, man, they've got people from all over the place from the technical side. Just everything, everything that you can name are, are partnering up with NVIDIA because they're such a hot commodity right now. Partners like AWS, Google, Oracle, who just had earnings recently, Microsoft. Uh, and now... They have their own AI, you know, like chat GPT and open in open AI. They have something called NIMS. And what it is, is a process by taking data to teach an AI to do things. And everything is going down the path of AI. So NVIDIA NIMS, what I did like about it is you got guardrails to protect it. You've also got evaluator to Take a look at the data before it spits out the data as it's teaching the AI. I love this process they got going on. Uh, it's going to be a blockbuster deal for them. Now, from the AI or from the NIMS perspective, specific companies are being brought in. SAP, do you know that they have or conduct 87% of global commerce? Looking at ServiceNow, 85% uh, of people are using ServiceNow specifically for customer service. Looking at Cohesity, not a stock that I could find, but Cohesity, you know, um, they back up data for over 10,000 companies, which is big. And all of these partnerships in this AI, NIMS for NVIDIA is going to be big. More, Snowflake. I'm mad, me. I'm mad that they got Snowflake and not Palantir. But Palantir is its own in its own world, does the same, pretty much the same thing that Snowflake does. Um, Palantir is getting all the contracts around globally. Snowflake is being used by way of NVIDIA because they've got the biggest digital storage. Three billion queries per day stored when you're going to ask AI questions, which is real wow. Woof. NetApp, do you know that half the files in the world? are stored on NetApp. I didn't know that, but now I do. And Dell Technologies is like an AI factory as far as computers are, are, are made from that platform as well. So these partners are particularly strong partners with strengths that will add in the NIMS whole sphere of AI for NVIDIA. Now, Here's something else that came out of it. The NVIDIA Omniverse Cloud, which is AI connectivity. So they use Nissan here. Nissan all the way from the beginning of a project to the end of the project and everything in, 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 ensconced in between can be put onto the Omniverse Cloud. And now they can be all speaking the same language on the same footing on the same sheet of music which I think is good, whether it's Nissan or whoever it is, this Omniverse cloud is going to be huge. Now, why do I, also, do I love this Omniverse cloud? Because the Apple Vision Pro streams on the NVIDIA Omniverse cloud. 
I think that the it is showing that the Apple and uh, Vision Pro is outdoing the other glasses that are out there, no matter who they are, because Apple is Apple. That's the way it is. But they are streaming on this Omniverse cloud, which is going to be big as a partnership as well. And then at the end, they introduced the new GPU, uh, the Blackwell GPU platform, which looks great. But with everything that it has in it, talking about that, let's go back to that chip. Announcing the NVIDIA Blackwell platform for trillion parameter scale generative AI. So even the GPUs, which look great or are going to be powerful, the Blackwell GPU powered by the Blackwell chip is just going to be taking NVIDIA to a whole new level. Now, with all of the stocks that we just talked about, and I'm, man, you know, I, as I mentioned, all these conferences are designed to tell you all of the great things and make you feel good and want to go out and buy it and da 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 da. I decided to put together a watch list of the stocks from the video. So here's my watch list of stocks from all of those stocks that were found in there NVIDIA, Google, ServiceNow, Taiwan Semi. And I'm going to go back. I didn't show this to you, but look at that TSMC 4NP, 50 billion transistors in TSMC. So that is part of that as well. I wanted to show you that. So TSMC made the list as well Dell, SAP, Microsoft, Oracle, NetApp. Apple and Snowflake. These are stocks that I want you to keep on your radar, keep in a watch list. Given the market's conditions right now, would I go buy them right now? Probably not. Let these stocks come to you. Notice that only one stock is a sell, Snow. Palantir is in the same spot like uh, Snowflake. But I think people are sleeping on stocks like Snowflake and Palantir because these are all about machine learning, teaching these machines to do what they need to do for AI. So whether it's Snowflake, whether it's Palantir, I brought Palantir into the picture. Snowflake is the partnership with NVIDIA. Uh, as I look at these stocks, I go down to the bottom. These are fundamentally sound stocks. So these stocks, for the most part, are not super aggressive. They're not speculative place with the exception of Snowflake. These are fundamentally sound stocks that are in uptrends with good VSTs, CI, above one. I want to show you something else. Let me move this over. You know me, I like to have sales growth rate higher than earnings growth rate, and this list fits the bill. These stocks have almost double the sales growth rate of the earnings growth rate, which makes these stocks really good stocks. Moving over some more, dividends are paid on these, dividend safety above one, uh, is above 50. There's nothing that I don't like about these stocks in regards to NVIDIA partnering with these stocks, going to help to pull these stocks higher. But keep in mind what's going on in the market currently right now. Wait for the right time to buy these. But all of you guys out there should build a watch list of these stocks and keep your eyes on them. I've done it so much already. I built the portfolio that we will keep our eyes on. Yes. Would I go buy these stocks right now? No. But because I'm doing the video today, I want to track them from today and see how well they do. Uh, no stops on these. I'm going to buy these. I'm going to hold these based on what the conference was all about. I think these stocks have the potential to do really well. But again, I want to warn you, I want you to put these into a watch list and wait for these stocks to come to you before you go and buy these stocks. So with that said, folks, this is a great list of stocks coming out of the conference the conference, which showed a lot of the potential of what NVIDIA still has left to do going forward, NVIDIA is still a powerhouse stock. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, share this video, because there's a lot of people out there trying to make a decision on stocks like NVIDIA or other stocks that they're partnering with to determine if it's okay to go or buy and sell these stocks. Share this. Let people know what we're doing on uh, here at VectorVest because we do the work, you reap the rewards. So until the next time, folks, this video is over. See ya. Hey, VV Nation. Do you have access to the VectorVest tool, the most powerful tool in the industry right now? No? Well, I'm going to give you an opportunity to take advantage of an outstanding deal. Simply go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. You can take advantage of VectorVest 30 days for $9.95. That's an outrageous price for a trial. So what do you get? 
Well, you get uh, the opportunity to see how we have outperformed the S&P 500 by over 2,000% for the last 20 years. We'll go down and we can see that we track over 18,000 stocks globally and have access to analyzing those. And we've got 25 years of accurate market predictions. Yes, folks, we time the market. Simply, folks, all you have to do is go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. 995 for 30 days and we offer a hassle-free refund folks take advantage of it right now